Oh, I can tell I need a fucking haircut. My helmet's tight as a bitch. A little bit of... You can tell she's been sitting for a while. This kid in very badly with these freaking horrible tires that uh, Honda put on this bike. Let me get me some nabbies for this year, though. We're gonna put a little grommy poo through her paces. Now that we live up here, we got trails all over the place. It's gonna be awesome. I have no gas. That's not good. Look at all that garbage. It's the first time I've rode the Grom around here. Oh, good God. Look at the ice. There's the sand. Jesus. It's going to be the main problem. Uh, there's no gas station anywhere near here. <laughs> so I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna get gas. I should have put the bottle cap on. There really isn't a gas station anywhere near here. Hmm. I wonder how long when it blinks it means I got. You can't escape me, Kia! I really can't go far. I don't have gas, and I live like 15 miles away from a gas station. But look at the beautiful scenery! The Grom has left its cage! Yeah, it's like 13 degrees. 13 degrees outside. Oh, hello, oil and gas truck. Whew. I gotta put the balaclava on. We will be back in just one second. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna see where we can go. And if not, I'll call, uh, I'll call somebody cause I didn't fucking rub my fucking helmet. Shit! Your variety gas station, I ain't never seen it before, but we're going to go ahead and trust Waze on this one. I can't recall the time in which Waze has let me down before, so we could either possibly start a new trend, or we can continue the old one. You know, I've ridden... All of my bikes in the freezing cold, never the Grom. This is the first. You know, it's kind of nice whenever I fucking grab gas. You know what? I've never been the way that it's taken me, so that would explain it. That car is turning, so we're going to let it go. Ooh, hi, we're good. Uh, but yeah, I've never ridden the Grom in this cold of weather. It's kind of odd. Look at all that snow. You know, it's, it says it's 15 degrees right now. It's really not that bad, to be completely honest with you. It might get really bad if I do happen to run out of gas. Then I'm just going to be pissed. I wouldn't be pissed. You know, fuck it. I'm on a Grom. I'll just fucking coast up and down these hills. I should really install pedals for scenarios like this. If I do find a way to, to run out of gas on a motorcycle that takes one gallon and gets 115 miles per gallon. Uh... Yeah, I should put pedals. Just attach them right to the front sprocket. It'll be super easy. Pedaling this thing couldn't be that hard. Yeah, she, uh, as you saw in the beginning of the video, she hasn't been started in a while. And today when I get back, I think I'm going to clean her up and adjust her chain. Her chain needs to be replaced. Along with these god-awful stock tires. Ooh, look at all that shit. I don't want any part of that. Alright guys, we're 2.4 miles away. So uh, let's go ahead and keep the fingers crossed that um, I'm able to get to this gas station. I feel like I should be okay. The problem is every time I've ridden it for the past like three times, the little gas light's been blinking. So I have legitimately got to be at like no gas. 
This will be a fun road when the summer comes. Ooh, that looks dark. We're going to go ahead and stay away from that. Yep. Not only are you fucked if you hit black ice, um, but I am supremely fucked because there is literally zero chance that these tires will do anything to, to make me not die. These tires are literally the worst tires ever put on any automobile. Uh, oh. <laughs> it looked really black and I didn't like it. Oh! oh, you hate black people? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, get over it, snowflake. Oh, that's a lot of gravel. Oh, that was sketchy. See, on my uh, on my S1000 right now, I wouldn't be worried at all. Like, at all. We got some sticky-ass tires on there. It's a big bike. I'm not too worried about throwing it around. This little guy, though, I mean, I feel like I could, I feel like in perfect weather, I could run over a cricket and it's just like, Tew! off into the woods. I'm kind of close to this guy. I should probably hang back. You know, I took the mirrors off because apparently the Grom's kickstand um, was mad at me. Uh, it's been sitting on its kickstand for a while. I uh, decided to move things around the garage whenever we moved in, getting everything set up the way I liked it, and moved everything around. Wow, that right there is black ice. Note to self on the way home. Um, but I was moving it around, pushing it back into place, and the kickstand on the ground was kind of weird. And it, it was it, it, it was down. It was on the ground. And then I'm standing there, and like five minutes later, just boom, on the ground. I was like, what the fuck? It wasn't even like I was putting it back, and I messed up with the kickstand. It's just like the kickstand looked down. It was holding the bike. That's black ice as well. And uh, then when I walked away, it was like, <laughs> oh, wait for this. And it fucking fell into the wall. But hey, as I usually say with this bike, at least it was this bike. Yeah, it was a... Uh, Hindsight, it was kind of funny because I'm like, yo, nothing was even near it. I didn't look at it. I was, I literally wasn't even looking at it. Let's go over the apex. Oh, I can feel my butt crack hanging out as I'm getting a rather brisk draft up the crack of my butt. Look at that fucking horse. Holy shit. That thing was huge. I bet it works for Budweiser in the off-season. It's weird not having fucking, uh, any mirrors on this thing as I swerve into oncoming traffic trying to look behind me for a pow pow. Because I didn't bring my wallet with me, um, which is fucking great about Samsung Pay. I should be okay. Oh, oh, look at that. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Wait, yes, gas. So, whew, I was about to be real pissed. But yeah, like, I don't even get, like, oh, fuck, I forgot my wallet. Because I have Samsung Pay and it just works. It better fucking work here. This is this is putting it to the test. All right, here it goes, boys. What's going on, man? Can I get three dollars on one? Thanks, man. The white. All right. Time to fill this puppy up. Yo, I still had a good amount of gas in there. Oh, three bucks filled up to the brim. <laughs> Fucking love Honda, dude. That is ridiculous. This bike has never ever ever been on a battery tender and uh coming up on two years that i've owned it never once it sat in my garage all winter last year um without on a tender when it's like negative outside and any other bike that i've ever owned would have just completely died like the s1000 was dead after sitting for four days and it was like in the 30s in the garage um and well, that was mainly because i fucking connected something directly to the battery but that's beside the point yeah but this little bitch has never once sputtered and let me down ever i have and i've beat the shit out of this bike too you no know fuck that i'm just gonna go straight and figure it out but all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed this little uh jaunt 
in the wicked winter of New Hampshire on the G ROM. I know it's been a while uh, since I've been out on her. Um, but I figured this was a much safer bet than taking out the big girl. The big expensive girl. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to the channel, please, my friend, click that subscribe button only if you enjoyed this video. But I'm assuming since you got to this point, you did. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And as always, throw a like on this video, aka a thumbs up. And uh, I would greatly appreciate that. But that is all I have for you peeps. I'm going to skedaddle on out of here. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thought I heard a cop behind me, but it was just the wind blowing by my face. Have a good one, guys. Peace. Yeah, okay, okay.